hi guys welcome back to our channel so here is just a cute outdoor rug that i thought would be perfect for the fall and i got this from target in here are two wreaths that i got from michael's i can't remember how much they were but it's the ashland brand and it was like 50 percent off so i decided to tap into my green thumb and i had this potting soil from a few years ago when i decided to start an organic garden that didn't go so well so let's try with these mums i got these mums from my local home depot um and i just thought they were really really pretty i got yellow i got orange and red so hopefully it'll last me through the whole entire fall season so I thought these pots with the pumpkins were so cute. So I decided to get two of those mums that are inside of the pumpkin pot. And guys, don't judge me. I literally did not have a shovel or anything. So I just had to use my hands. So while I am not a professional at planting or repotting or anything i watched a few videos on youtube of course and i saw this really cool hack that you can put the pot that the plant came in into the bigger pot and basically fill the soil in around it so that way when you pull the plant out it'll fit right into it perfectly so that's what i'm doing here As you can see here I am just going to remove the original pot with the plant inside of it and as you can see it leaves a pretty nice round circle for me to just remove the plant and place that directly into the new pot. So along with this hack I also learned that it's best to flip the plant upside down give it a little tap and then the plant will come right out of the original pot perfectly. And so now I am going to tease the roots at the bottom just a little bit so that they know that, hey, you don't have to grow in the circle anymore. You can spread out a little bit in hopes that it will be really full.
so now I am just going to water the plants a little bit more now that they're in the new soil just so that can kind of mix together And now to the big planters. Okay, y'all, I didn't realize how deep this was. And of course I ran out of soil. So I just tried to get creative and use the original pots, flip them upside down in hopes to sit the plants on top of those and it'll be perfect. So while doing this, I realized I was making a huge mess and wasting so much soil. I decided to get one of these plastic bags to place over it just so if the soil drops on there, it can just slide right off. As you can see this is the end of my bag I have ran out of soil but I decided to continue going and just to see how it will look with what I got So after placing the plant on top of the pot, I immediately thought epic fail, but I decided to step back, got a wild idea to maybe cut the pot in half and see if it'll fit better. So here I am attempting to cut the pot while it's in the soil and again, another epic fail. <laughs> So I just decided to take it out and cut it as best as possible. So I snipped one in and then I went directly across from that slit and slit the other end. And I just cut around in a circle about maybe like halfway. I decided to place the pot back into the soil as best as possible and try to place the plant on top again to see how that works and honestly although it wasn't the best it was 10 times better so I decided to do the other one as well. So just FYI, before you guys talk about me, I did order some more soil after I recorded this video and added it to the planters later. All right, that's it for my green thumb. Now let's get into the decorating. 